Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. So, previously we created our character, Hermione, and we set off into the main game. After doing the tutorial and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, we made a little bit of progress, we've cleared out a couple of uh, cave dungeons, explored a little bit, and made our way to the main gate of Stormvale Castle. And we've done a bit of co-op on the main boss, or the boss covering the entrance to Stormvale Castle, which is Margit, the fellow man. So, let's carry on. So one thing we need to do is get some uh, new spells, as well as explore a lot more of Limgrave, because we've probably only scratched the surface. see how much we've got to explore. Lots. And this is just the first area. So I, I took my um, hood off so you can see more of Hermione. Now I can, if you want, give uh, the boss a go. Mm, I've got enough room to level up. Kind of needed at this time. So. Oh yeah, get two levels. I'm gonna bung both in intelligence. That puts us with 300, which is more than enough to start. So we'll give the boss a go. This is not gonna go well. Trust me. I've never done the boss at this low level. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened. By the flame of ambition. That's a shark off. There'd be no one. Yeah, he's got some very delayed attacks. Big hitbox, so better stick care of it. Completely out of heels now, so I have to play it cleverly. Oh, there's not too big. Have a go. I got that close. I never know. Second try. Did better than I expected.
Look at that cliff there. I'll give it a few more goes. Bit if not, I'm perfectly happy to explore and come back. When I come back, it'd probably be a lot easier. Not gonna bother, I didn't pick up the soul, so. Too early. You do not want to just jump just too early for that one. capable of doing the boss. If I had hours to burn, prepared to make you suffer and make me watch for hours on end, then yeah. But no. So huge part of the map we got to explore. We're gonna head here. I'm gonna put a marker down here. This is where we get invaded for the first time. The so, NBC. this up. I'm not going to be doing tell ops really, or uh, summoning people in, so it's kind of pointless, but oh well. So we head down this way. Am I in the wrong place? Yes, I'm in the wrong place. Anyway, not the end of the world. This is a finger crone. What she really wants is McPitty's chocolate fingers. Oh, bless you. Oh, head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only, why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Okay. Now, the actual, rea the actual reality is we don't actually have to go through the castle. We can completely bypass it. 
We're not going to do that, obviously, but no. So what you do is you head down there, jump across that little gap there, and then take the horse up and round the cliff along the top there, and you'll completely totally likely bypass Stormbell Castle. Yeah, so we've come cut through there, so we're going to continue heading around. Now, there are a number of um, small catacombs, caves, whatever such dungeons to explore, which we will do. This shouldn't be fatal height. Right, uh, if we head down here, sooner or later we're going to hit a blue barrier, which is going to despawn the horse. Probably about now. And we run to here. This is the Colosseum. This is like a PvP area. But about now, we're going to get invaded. That's the time to hit it when he's doing an attack, but we don't want to get clobbered. I'm going to... That worked. Well, taking a miss to the face doesn't help, but... Go down, scrub. So we have the red summon sign and the red empty. So if we want to do duels with people, we just put that down and um we'll get little fights. Now this Colosseum here is just for like low level PvP, generally speaking. And there are different types of matches we can do if we wanted to. So we can do uh, a two, four or six, but team to three, team to two, or, or any. Spirit Ash is prohibited and you can set passwords and only play with friends if you really want to. So, yep. And there's an effigy, effigy of America, a round table hold, which we'll be heading to at some point, that will also enable us to enter the Colosseum. So you can get to the Colosseum in loads of different places. Right, that's the Colosseum done. There is a cave about here, and there is a shack at the end of the road leading down here, which we're gonna to head to and the guy there will sell us 
Ashes of War. These dudes make flame pots. Uh, pretty, well, flame pots and other kind of fire, fire stuff, rather obviously. So, threat ahead with, with the Warmaster Shack. Ooh, the Mutley Brigade. Bad doggy. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm? Despite the collapse of the Golden Order. Hmm. Don't know. Eh. What yes, the hell? you're a tarnished through and through. I'll just say yes. me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Yeah, all kinds of skills we can learn. Stomp, kick, and your war cry. Lots of stuff we can can acquire from him. He hasn't got anything else. That's all he sells. And Not floating your boat, eh? Nah. Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. So yeah, you can pick them up later, no big deal there. Alright. Now there is a camp here. Which we just... Oops, we set off the alarm. Oh well, never mind. Hey! How dare you! Dodge through my attack. You're not allowed. Bad doggy. I don't want friends. Go on, have a swipe, have a swipe, have a swipe, have a swipe, have a swipe. Go on. to do the brute force method. 
Oh, hey doggy. Oh shit, that does no damage at all. Right. We're gonna grab the items and run. There's a chest over here somewhere. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. No one's just here. Yeah. There's a grace down here somewhere. Can you hear me? I can. Uh, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hole, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by Grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for okay. but a moment. You can do it if you get to Leonia or if you leave the area as such. We're not technically leaving Lingrave Wood. Although we are close to where we'll head to um, Caleb, the next door region, which is not a nice region. So, combat's prohibited. It does actually exist in the Lands Between, even though it's a separate area. And this guy here is Offner, the All-Knowing, mentioned in the opening credits. He's kind of the head honcho here. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. I never let down my guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. <laughs> ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Will do. So through here we have our... Smith. This is the uh, Elden Ring from of Andre. You're a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get Smith in. He can strengthen armament. Ashes of War. We can duplicate an Ash of War. We need a um, uh, like a, a spare ash. You can get. To duplicate so you can put the same ash of war on uh, more than one weapon. You can only put one ash of war on one weapon at a time. You can sell stuff, and we're going to ask him about in I see chains. you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner, and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. No. Don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. 
My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. So, that's all this dialogue for now. No idea who he's talking about. I haven't played that game. N haven't played this game nearly enough to know. Pretty much all the rooms here are locked. There's one here that requires a stone sword key, but I don't think we have one. Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, I think there's an item in here. I don't think we have more than one, so. Um, uh, what's it? Crossbow, which is utterly useless. Why use the bow when you've got spells? Alright, all these rooms will open up eventually. In here we have Fear, the Deathbed Companion, and a mirror so we can make ourselves look really pretty. And she offers a hug. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fear. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hall. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Oh, we can have a hug. Uh, I think it knocks, reduces champion. our stamina and our Virgo down a notch. But it can easily be shed. Because we get an item in return that will you remove are it. Very warm. Mm, kinky. What you felt light up inside you was a Balderkin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Ah, oh, how sweet. Yeah, we've got a healthy buff. Pretty sure using that will remove it. Perhaps I'm not sure. It's not the end of the world. I had I had one of those in the last couple of playthroughs. It's not. It won't kill you. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to regret saying that. Right. So that's where we do the Colosseum. Up here we have. Uh, uh, we need to defeat a major boss before we can get that. That will open up uh, Two Finger Crone, who will. Um, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order. So uh, that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Yeah, so there are two kinds of fi incantations. Fire, well there's, well there's actually more than two. There's loads of different kinds of incantations. Pyromancy is now basically um, a mixture of sorcery and incantations. It's no longer its own the separate, order shine through you. separate uh, breed. Uh, this dude will give us a um, nice gesture.
straight ahead is where the dungy tool will appear and then here we have the um, two main husks which we can purchase things from so rune arcs if you've got a great rune equipped they will um, those are used to get the benefits from it white sapphire ring this basically uh, is like the in Dark Souls 3 it's the oh what is it the where the blue so you get invaded someone come to help you out that is basically the the blue sentinels or dark moon covenant equivalent where you go to aid other people if they get invaded and there's a whole bunch of weapons and stuff here as well uh, as you defeat certain enemies or certain people you pick up ball bearings hand them in here and um no ball bearings to offer and uh yeah you can buy more stuff this is kind of like the um shrine handmaiden from dark souls 3 where you go to generally buy stuff uh, Gideon off here, off near will appear in that room there eventually and the door will become open allowing us to um yeah just uh, gain information from him and pass over the sequence and stuff like that yeah, and they've got the grace in the middle we can use to level up i don't think we have no we don't no worries uh, let us get going so the hold is in the bottom of the map always in the bottom corner and yeah, if you think the map looks very small, trust me, it's going to get a lot bigger and the area we've ex explored is going to get a lot smaller. Now, there was a chap calling out to us, uh, which is um, Alexander. So, let's go and see him. Alexander is an interesting individual, which you're going to see. He's also got a great questline.